Welcome to Genuine Cora guys. This is the 14th video in the J Phoenix tutorial series and in this video I'm going to show you how to apply a third dimensional depth to the JavaFX components. And for the sample I have a text text area and an image view. And when I click on this increase depth button there is a depth value to the I mean there is a shadow and it seems as a layer that is above the root pane and I can increase the depth it up to the five levels uh, by clicking the increase depth and I can decrease the depth up to zero so that's it and let's see how to code it so this is a fxml file it is nothing but a text area with a sample pane I mean it is sample pane and I am setting to sample pane and there is an image view these two components are normal components and I have a JFX button to increase depth and decrease depth so when I press on this increase depth button uh, this function will be called and when I press on the decrease depth decrease depth function will be called so that's it and the image view is identified as image and text area is identified as sample pane so I am going to generate the control skeleton. I am going to save this first. Okay. Then let's make the controller. So there is sample pane and increase depth and depth. So in order to give depth, we can use JFX depth manager. The effect test manager manager is equal to manager. Then we have to initialize it. So that can be done here. Manager is equal to new JFX that manager and as it does not take any parameters and let's look into the source code of the JFX depth manager and you can see that there are five levels of depth I mean there is 0 1 2 3 4 5 total six levels of depth are there the zero is no depth at all and 1 2 3 4 5 and that's it JFX depth manager so when I press on the increase depth function I have to increase the depth so I am implementing a variable called uh, depth and setting it to zero which is initial depth and I'm going to increase it so manager dot and there is a function it's a static function inside this depth manager and it is called set depth so I'm going to set the depth of the variable so uh, it takes two parameters one is the node uh, on which we have to apply the depth so it is definitely the text area so sample pane sample pane and the depth level is set using the variable depth so that's it we have set a depth for this sample pane variable I am going to increase the depth by one when I click on the button so that's it that's okay and when I press on the decrease depth uh, button I have to decrease that so minus minus depth that's it now let's run the code so that's it now let's increase the depth so we are getting first level increase second level depth third level depth fourth fifth that's it and let's decrease the depth so back to the depth so that's it that's how you set depth to components guys and if you want to set the depth for this image also you can do that by so in order to give depth to the image component the same variable depth manager manager can be used and manager dot set depth instead of giving sample pane we can pass the image object and we don't have to in I mean if we want to increase the depth for two components this is better we keep two depth variables so there is depth one and plus plus depth one in the case of increasing depth and minus minus depth one for decreasing oh, now let's run the program so when I click on this increase depth button the depth of both these components have been increased and that's it that's how you use the depth manager to give, give depth to JavaFX components. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more cool videos.